ChatGPT just released ChatGPT Atlas, which is their brand new AI browser, and it is absolutely mind-blowing. It allows you to bring ChatGPT everywhere that you want. It allows you to automate work with ChatGPT, and it literally remembers everything. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know seven mind-blowing use cases that you need to start to use this for today. Now, use case number one that's absolutely blown my mind with Atlas is its ability to actually recall things. So if we come up over here to the top right-hand corner, and you come over into your settings, you're gonna see under personal personalization right here, a few different things. We can see reference saved memories. We can see reference chat history. We can also see reference browser memory. So what this actually can do is go through and pull up things that you've had open before. For example, I'm going to say this, please reopen all of the YouTube windows that I had open today. And then what this is going to do, it is going to scan through my browser history and it is going to reopen all of the tabs that I have had open before. And what this will actually do is allow you to not have to always have hundreds of tabs open because this can remember things and this can pick up from where you left off before. Let's say that you're done on the internet today, you just X out of this and then you could log in tomorrow and ask this to do this. Now look at this, this literally went through and open up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different tabs that I had open. It remembered all of them. It then gave me access to all of them. And then straight from here, I can actually get this to reference all of them. For example, I can say, please summarize all of them. I am just looking for ones related to AI. Please keep those open and then remove the rest. And then what this will actually do is take action across all these different browsers. So again, another use case for this. So let's say that you have several YouTube videos open. You have several articles open. You could go through, have it summarize all the articles. You could go through and have it manage your tabs from right inside of ChatGPT right here. This then takes action. And as we could see, this went through and got rid of all of them, except for these three that actually make sense. And it'll tell you why if you ask it why. That was just use case number one. Use case number two is clicking on agent mode right here, and you can choose whether you want this to be logged out of all of your accounts. So let's say you're logged into Amazon, you're logged into Walmart, you're logged into your email. It can actually either one, stay logged into all of them, or you could have it be logged out. So like if you're logged into your bank or something like that, obviously you'd probably want this logged out. I wouldn't let this run through your bank or your credit cards or TurboTax or something like that. So you'd want it logged out of that, but otherwise you could have it be logged in or logged out. And then you could have it go through and actually do things for you. For example, maybe you want to go through and you want to get promoted at work. You could click on this right here, make a plan to get a promotion. This is then going to put this prompt in here. It is going to do this. It is is then going to ask you a few questions, which is what really gives us a leg up on other AI browsers because this clarifies before it just runs off and does things what you actually want. And we could see, I'm just gonna make something up here. I'm gonna say, I work at a hedge fund in the compliance department. Right now I am just an analyst, but I want to be the chief compliance officer. And then what this will do is this will actually run through and work on this. It'll do all the research that it needs. It'll come up with a plan. It will do all of that. And then we could actually be working in here in another tab while this is going through and this is actually doing this. So again, this has a question here. We would have gotten pinged. You would have heard the notification that you need to go through and answer this. And I'm just gonna say, you decide for all of this because I don't actually wanna go through and answer all these different questions here, but it is actually going to go through and it is is going to then decide on the approach. It's going to do all the research. And then it is actually going to build me out a plan. And I don't want you to think that you could use it just for simple things like this, because if we come over here and click on agent mode again, you could see that you can have this make a plan to buy a new car or make a plan for the weekend. If it's logged in right here, this will actually change what shows up here. And you can have this go through and order groceries for you order lunch for you. You could have this go through and do pretty much anything that you want or anything that you could do as a human on a browser right here, this can automate. And again, while it's off automating things, we can be doing other things that actually require our attention. And then we could just come back over here and see what it's actually doing at any time. And we can see that this is going through and this is actually controlling its own browser over here on this window, it is opening up different articles about how other people got promotions, and then it went through 
worked for 55 seconds and it came through and actually gave us a huge write-up on what we should do in the short term, mid term, long term in order to actually get this. And then also it goes through a bunch of other different career decisions that we might want to make. So you can literally get this to go through and automate anything you want while you're working in another browser. Now, before we get into the rest of those things that you can automate now using ChatGPT Atlas, I wanted to remind you to smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this every single day, and if you want to automate your work with AI, you're not going to want to miss them. Now, use case number three is actually being able to use ChatGPT in line here. So let's say that we come over to an email that I might have to respond to. For example, this email here, we're just going to make this up. We can actually come over here and we can begin to actually type something out. So I'm just going to put sample right here because what we're trying to do is put text in here so that we can then come through and we can highlight this text. You're then going to see in this top left hand corner, ChatGPT, and I'm going to say, please craft a response email to this, make it three to five sentences. And then what this is going to do is this is going to go through, this is actually going to write this out. It's then going to show us that response right here and we could see this right here and then we could ask it to edit it again or we could click on update and this will actually go through and this will put this response in here that is three to five seconds. Now you can use this inside of so many different things. It doesn't only have to be used in email, you could also be using this inside of your Google Drive. So we're gonna come over to drive.google.com and we could see that I have something open here. For example, we can open up the this script right here and I can come over here and I can actually get this to rewrite this hook. I just come over here, I'm gonna click on this and then I'm gonna say rewrite this hook the way that I usually open up my videos. Now, it goes off, it's going to do that and the reason that this works so well is again because if we come over here, come into settings, come into personalization, this is using my ChatGPT memory in order to actually do this. So it knows exactly how I actually write out my content and in line I can have this making adjustments for me. Now use case number five here is going to be multi-tab automation. So I have a bunch of different tabs open here. This one right here is explaining N8N agents. This one right here is giving you best practices for prompting N8N agents. This one right here has 6,000 different N8N workflow automation templates. And what I'm gonna say is, please give me YouTube video ideas based on the three tabs that I have open. Now, what this will do is this will actually see the three tabs I have open, see the contents of those tabs, and then use all of them to actually create things. So, let's say you have three articles open. You have three YouTube videos open. You have anything open. This will actually go through and be able to see all of them, be able to reference all of them at one time. The old way of me doing this was to actually just like get a summary of all these different things in ChatGPT, have this really long block wall of text, and then come over here and put it in the ChatGPT and tell it to give me ideas based off of all that. But now I don't actually have to do that anymore. This just gave me 10 very hyper specific ideas. And then I can say, I like number six, build a script in my usual format off of that. This is incredibly powerful because again, this has memory of my stuff how I like to do things, and this goes through and actually builds me out a script based on this, and it gives me my usual viral format, goes through and actually creates a video script for me. And again, this is incredibly powerful that we don't have to switch between a bunch of different tabs here. We could have this, just take action, do the research, do everything all from one tab while referencing these three other tabs. Now, in addition to that, you can also use this for research. For example, I am going to say, I am in the market to get pans that won't cause cancer. Please find me the best options. I don't have any budget. Now, what this is going to do, this is going to go off. It is going to do research. It is going to learn. We could see that this is going through and looking at websites. This is going through and looking at YouTube videos. And then this is going to pitch to me what the research actually says. So I could go through what to look for, what to avoid, 
specific concerns. It cites everything, which is pretty awesome. And then if we come down here, it shows the top recommendations. And if I wanted to, I could click on this and I can buy this straight from here. Or even better, I could tell ChatGPT, hey, I like this one, go ahead and buy it for me. And it doesn't just have to do with pants. Again, if we come over here, we could say something like, great, please find places near me that actually sell these. And then what this is going to do is this is going to go through, use my location and figure out where I can actually buy these. And that final use case that I have is how you can now take anything that you watch, anything that you're reading about, anything that you're learning about, 10 steps further. For example, we could come over here and I'm going to click on this video right here. Hey. Then we're going to pause this and we have to let this run through this little ad right here. But in the past, I would have actually had to watch this YouTube video. Today, I don't have to. We can see if this is 11 minutes right here. I could come over to ChatGPT and I can say, please give me the key points that he highlights here. I'm gonna say, in addition, let me know how it's going to affect me personally based on what you know about me and recommend any additional research slash follow up I should do. And then what this is going to do is this is going to watch this video or transcribe this video and it is going to do the three things that I want. It's going to give me key points. It is going to let me know how it's personally going to affect me and some additional research that I can do here. So this goes through, gives me the key takeaways right here, and then it's going to tell me how it actually personally affects me based on everything ChatGPT knows about me and all the personal information and what I should do next. And the information that this is giving me is absolutely insane. Refinance if available, real estate timing, hedge against inflation, gives me all these different things based on things that it actually knows I do. For example, I own a ton of equities and a ton of crypto, so it knows my exposure there is going to perform well. It knows about a bunch of different things, gives me some recommended follow-up, and this is really incredible here. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is going to replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now. So if you want to stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing how to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through seven other secret ChatGPT changes that just got released that you probably haven't heard of. I'll see you over there.